Hello everybody, this is Line. Today is day number 133, and for today's video I'm going to give you a little how-to tutorial on how to use uh, Adobe Animate CC um, and make a mask. So, I should have said that the other way around. I'm going to show you how to make a mask in Adobe Animate CC. Alright, so let's begin. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to draw um, a face. So, let's draw a face. And uh, this is just going to be my, uh, whatchamacallit, the thing that I'm going to use to have like a mask. So there's two ways of doing a mask, right? One is you could just draw something, and you could draw a face, for example. And you could have some eyes or eye holes, and then you have a nose and you have a mouth. Bam, right? And then you just take a fill color. Hold on, that's not a proper skin color. Let's do it with a Caucasian skin color white guy and then so now we've got the eyes and if we go to make another layer this is a this is what you would call like a physical mask because it's you know it's covering another object but it's not quite a real mask or the function of a layer mask so hold on now I'm just gonna draw real quickly I'm gonna just to make it we'll make an X to the side so that's what it should look like and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it over here behind the physical you know, graphic that we had made on the layer above it. And that's not really what we want. What we want is we want to have a mask that um, is not based on that. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm just going to make this X into a movie clip, and I'm just going to move it around. So like, you know, I'm moving it around. It's it's going outside the area, so it's, you know, it's not really staying within the eye zone. So what I want to do is I want to uh, go back to that layer. I'm just going to modify this real quick because I want to have a full circle shape for my eyeball or somewhat of a circle shape and then I'm going to use a fill color. I'm going to use the color green and fill that in. Boom. And I'm going to take that green color and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to paste it there and I'm going to label the layer mask and then I'm going to uh, well, first I'll put one more layer below it because that's where I'm going to put my eyeball in there. And I'm going to right-click on the mask layer, which is the green zone, and I'm going to right-click and choose mask. And now, it is now a uh, functional mask layer based on the shape that's inside. And you'll see that it automatically locked the layers once I did that. So uh, if I unlock it, you'll see that you see the green, but when it's locked, you see nothing. The reason for doing so, or reason why that is, is because a mask doesn't reveal anything on the mask layer. It's just, uh, it's just the shape or the, you know, the the area that anything that goes underneath the mask on its own layer uh, will not, will will be shown, and anything that goes outside of the mask area uh, will not be shown. So let's go find our X. Okay, so I zoomed out. Um, so here, where is it? Bloop. All right, so there's our X. I'm just going to label this X, and we'll put this into the mask as well. So boom. So now we've got two layers inside the mask. Layer 5 has nothing in it. So we can just get rid of that layer. Trash can that. All right. And so now, if I move my X, you'll see that you still see the green in there. That's sort of annoying, right? So the only way to not see it is, you know, if you want to move it around and do some stuff with it, you can hide the mask layer using the little... Uh, eye icon to uh, hide or reveal. So we're going to hide it for now and then we'll do a little animation. And I just want you to take note of something uh, as we do this here. So I'll have this at frame 24, I'll put a keyframe. Frame 12, we'll put a keyframe. And now we're going to move the movie clip to the right and we'll pretend that this is like a pupil uh, or an eye, you know, eyeball. And then we're going to do a classic uh, tween. And then we'll lock the layer, and then we'll unhide the mask. So now let's just hit the space bar so we can just play it. Oh, sorry, Enter key in Adobe Animate to run the animation. And as you can see, the X does not show itself past the mask's outer areas. So, um, you know, here is our face, and here's the eye. So yeah, as you can see, the X just stays inside the masked area. So that's how to do a mask. And if you have any questions or comments, 
feel free to leave them on YouTube, and if you like the video, please subscribe. Alright guys, that's my tutorial for the day. That's news for now, and I'll speak to y'all tomorrow. Bye bye. One more thing before I let you guys go. Uh, because this is supposed to be an eye, let's just go and make this into an eyeball, right? So, hold on, let me go to a keyframe area. And we'll double click and go inside. We'll make a new layer. And we will color it in with white. Or we could do gray, whatever, doesn't matter. But we'll do white. And bloop. there we go. Fill it in with white. And then we'll make a uh, pupil. Pupil. Oh, hold on, let me do this properly. And then fill that in. And then we can make another layer. And make that white on top so it has like a little bit of a shine effect. There we go. And so now, if we double click in an empty area, it'll take us back to our main uh, timeline. And we'll lock the frame, reveal the mask, and now our eye will move inside of the face. So. I just wanted to do that so this way it wasn't just an X. I figured you guys would find it interesting to see an actual eye inside the eye mask. All right. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them on YouTube, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.